All righty. I think you, we're live. Real quick, can you enable screen sharing? Yes. Dude, it's actually not letting me hit all participants, but I'll just make you a pro host. Cool. All right, you can say it again. <laughs> all right, and I think we're live. How's it going, Dom? Good. I think the last time we did this was in February. So, really? I, yeah, I was just editing the last one that I have, and it was number five, and that was in February, a little bit after I'd visited. Dang. All right. So, so what's what's been on? Whole month of March. <laughs> Um, I believe, and you can probably, since you edited the, the last one, uh, attest, I have minimal updates on my end, but the, the biggest thing was uh, on the last call, I said that I wanted to get a new job. That was the main goal and, and taking up a lot of my focus. And as you saw here on my, my whiteboard uh, in Austin, that was a uh, main task, task number one, I'd say. And I'd like to say that we achieved that. Uh, I'm in a new position that is remote. Uh, I'm actually, and then I'm also working like a consulting gig uh, for a climate tech firm, which is cool. So I have a, a little bit of two things going on um, and I like it. So hopefully this call, uh, I can make some new goals creatively and uh, well, I'll have more to share on the next workshop awesome. Wednesday. Well, I think the last time we spoke, I was a few weeks into my uh, phase one, as we called it. And so just to show here, uh, officially starting week 12 this week. So that three months, I guess, because um, four weeks in a month typically. So this will be so far gone week. And uh, you helped me do a main piece of the puzzle that I'll show you a little sneak peek in a couple minutes here. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the progress I've been making. I also, uh, if I go over to oh, album, I'm actually now in the mixing phase of Send Regards, uh, my first single that'll be out hopefully in the next month or so. And yeah, I finished recording it and feeling, feeling pretty good, but I have a lot of the, a lot of, a lot of the way to go to finish an album. So maybe it'll become an EP. We'll see. Um, so yeah. So that's been really the main grind. That's <laughs> awesome, man. Dude, seeing that spreadsheet filled out is beautiful. Also, just as a, uh, when you're editing this, I'm sure it's going to feel really good posting this video in the future and then seeing all the progress. Oh, yeah. Uh, and so. And yeah. uh you helped me record the making of So Far Gone. I'm going to show you the first 30 seconds of that just so you can uh, kind of see where some of this has gone so far. Heck yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at those edits. <laughs> and there he is. How's it going? So, uh, Mr. Fleshman, as I understand, uh, we're here today to talk about. <laughs> Dude, your hair. So Far Gone definitely has two parts to its creation. The first was we used to end our practices riffing off of chord progressions that we would write that day. I improv the lyrics when we were doing it. I still hold your pillow. And so we'll stop there, but. Oh, how long is that video? Uh, right now it's at nine minutes and 50 seconds. It was originally 50 minutes, you know, when I, yeah, because I had all the footage. I had like, you know, the different cutaways that I do and stuff. And so, yeah, it's like a 10 minute video. So now I'm just really honing in, but I mean, you saw the timeline. It looked even crazier than that, but I edited 99% of this Friday night and we recorded it Thursday. <laughs> oh gosh, dude. All right, yeah. man. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty much what's up with me. So that's, what's been going on. 
Cool, man. I'm glad that is a, a good month of March. Uh, and just to, to point, I mean, everyone should know by now, but you can all see this on, on Dominic's Instagram and YouTube. Dominic Fleshman official on Instagram and yeah. YouTube. Uh, what else do you got coming up? What does your April look like? Anything, yeah. yeah. April mainly is, uh, so I finished editing um, the uh, OUAB concert for Did I Hear Dare? And I'm almost done with the final show, uh, the running late album release party uh, concert that we did. And then this month is really, did I hear what episode four? And it is the album slash or EP. Also, I got some feedback on my Lemon script from a couple screenwriting competitions. And so I'm actually going into my next drafting phase for that. Uh, so I'd say this month is way more big projects. Like I think on Tuesday or Thursday, I'm going to do a bulk record of the next like four or five music Mondays. But as you saw, I'm really excited that I had a uh, piano set up for uh, some future uh, music Mondays and stuff. I'll show a little, um, I think it's, is it this one. No, it's this one. Uh, let me share this real quick, but yeah, I have this nice, you know, piano setup that I'll be doing some more songs, uh, not just, uh, standing up covers, but also doing some piano as well. And actually like next Sunday, I might actually, uh, go to, a songwriters open mic uh in new york and i've been trying to find a lot of those so i'd say bigger projects are definitely what this month is going to be um but that's good i feel like i've been gaining the tools and abilities to then tackle these bigger projects and you also have a base now you have something to show like if someone sees you at an open mic you have all this content and all this website stuff everything from workshop wednesday like one and two and three of building like content bases oh this is nuts dude this is sick i know i, I know i sent you that little tidbit from i think it's from workshop wednesday five where you said like i just want to get a job and you know i i love when I edit those, I just think about all the things we talk about and seeing a lot of them come to fruition is really cool. Yeah. Uh, Dominic, question for you. Two things for me, selfishly, but also maybe for the people. Uh, are you able to show us how you organize in Final Cut? Like you just, you quickly opened the piano project and you quickly opened the other one to show, like not, not the files themselves. No, I know, but the, the, the organization is, I have it by month. So I have, mm. <laughs> I name it by month and I do those. So like what are those everything called? that's in project April 20. Oh month. yeah. So these are libraries. So mm. the library, I named that. And then you have the events, which is what it puts all your videos in. But I usually just go with whatever it custom names it. But like I named an event, don't tell mama. And that's where I was putting a lot of my cabaret stuff. But that's genuine. That's generally how I organize. And then I save now that I have enough space on my computer, whatever current projects I'm working on are always directly on the MacBook. And then I move them off. Um, it's not like I have a, my, uh, hard drive has folders called music Monday workshop Wednesday featured Friday. And then within those, it says published. And then anything else is a numbered one. So even when I finished them, I know when, you know, it keeps me accountable to know that, oh, I haven't published this one yet. And it's going to be for this no. week. So, um, I, I've become way more organized now that I've been doing this for a bit, uh, and now I have the computer. So that's all. Cool, man. I was just curious. Also, uh, again, selfishly, but also maybe the people would like to know, um, you have done so much. How do you like optimize coming home from work or maybe finding the energy or like your weekends um, doing big stuff, but also like video editing, man? I'll... I'll also talk about what I, I'm planning to do this month. But video editing takes so much mental energy for me. Uh, and yeah. again, 
it's just a skill that you practice right but like yeah how do you how do you do it after work and like or or yeah i don't know dude i usually feel really energized because i'm usually thinking about one of the projects like all day at work and sometimes i'll even start editing on the bus um but the thing that's nice about having these really powerful machines is i can literally put my airpods in and edit which is awesome so like i'll sit in the you know the big chair i have like on friday uh i was by myself here i swear i edited for four hours straight like i didn't eat or anything but like i was like i just got home and i sat down emily left and and my battery lasted the whole time and i would used it at work all day so it was awesome yeah so but but i'd say the days that i don't want to do it i always it's kind of like those uh wheezy waiter videos i send you where it's like mm-hmm. as long I'll, I'll tell myself be like, okay i'll at least do 10 minutes but usually once i do the 10 minutes i want to do an hour so it's a self-feeding thing but i'd say earlier on in editing it was so tedious but now i enjoy it because i'm not frustrated by the software like today in i'll sh- one last thing i'll show you um if i open motion I'll just share this desktop. Um, I'm actually working on an audio visualizer for my uh, the so far gone making up videos that when we go to the recordings, like I'm learning how to use motion, which is like Apple's version of After Effects to make, and it's like matching the song. And like, you know, I spent like two hours today, like kind of watching tutorials. It's called motion. It's an Uh, Apple thing? Yeah, it it basically, final, the the bundle that we got has Final Cut Logic, Main Mm -hmm. Stage, which is the software you would want to use if you like perform live, and then Compressor and Motion are for like additional video editing and like graphics stuff. I've never used motion until today. Gotcha. I was going to say, how do you color? I thought you color corrected and, and did your visual stuff. Hey, I do all that just in Final Cut, but the visualizer seemed like there was no other way to do it. By I, I either had to buy a plugin or make like an make algorithm work. in motion and like do a bunch of, what do they call them? Like repeaters or replicators. I, it was crazy. I, but that was that was a part of my day, so... I'm excited to hear more BTS uh, yeah. of that. Holy crap, man. All right, so should we hit goals before? I know we're about to start a sync work Sunday call, so we might have some people jump on in. Uh, yes, uh, great, great call. Um, yeah, for for me, I think it's just getting organized uh, and getting back on my feet with the, the creative grind. Uh, Dominic made some comments on my creative tracker. Uh, I have an episode of a podcast that I'm editing. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. That's what I'm going to be doing with the sync work, I think, today, uh, as well as Die Who Dare uh, or Die Who Dare documentary episode three. Um, and those are like my April projects. And I hope to come back on this call at the end of the month and have some progress on a podcast and a, an episode three. I That's all. Be awesome. Um, yeah. How about you? Uh, my goals are those big projects. So finishing the concerts. Did I hear what I would love? Both of us will probably finish our, did I hear what episode around the same time? And then, you know, space those out easily. Um, but it's, this is really going to be the time that I'm going to cut songs from my album. And I've come up with some new ones. I came up with this one the other day, uh, uh, home sweet nowhere is, a concept i'm working with right now um which i think would be a cool song but yeah and then infrastructure for podcast the big podcast i want to work on is is you know things are coming to fruition and i'm writing a sci-fi comedy pilot script right now to um so yeah and really finding more live performance opportunities is my goal. I think going more into May, but looking for things this month to be able to jump in on next Every month. Of the water, so to speak. It's funny. I usually have to cut these down to five minutes, but I feel like this one will be pretty, uh, you know, I'll just be cutting out. <laughs> uh, but, but, but that's because I, I feel like we're more focused now and we know 
we know what's attainable in time frames now, which has been a great learning experience. Because I think I had big goals of how much I could front load, but I think in some ways I've surprised myself and front loaded like featured Fridays for the whole year. But then like, I have a huge batch of music Monday that I'm going to have to do because I'm about to run out. Like, you know, so it's just kind of like always having to be a little bit, you know, enough ahead, which is why we had to do this workshop Wednesday call because I don't think I would have had a number six in a few weeks if we didn't do this. And now if yeah. we just make sure we do it monthly, you know, but it's just, it's crazy balancing everything, dude. You're doing way better than I am, but I had like one, like I said, I think, I think you're, you have a bunch of smaller things that you're knocking out of the park. I have like bigger things that take longer, but yeah, slowly so we're both making, making progress, which is uh, yeah. the main, main thing of all this. Right. And now I we're going since, to you know, make some more progress after this call. So since we last talked, I, I'm really proud of all your blog posts on your website. I think that every single one you've put has been great. And I'm really excited for the next ones. And I hope, hope uh, we get one soon. Yeah. Thank you, man. I hope so. I hope so too. Cause I miss, I miss writing them. They, they also just take a lot of mental energy and time, you know, which I love, but yeah. Just to pry for a goal for you. Um, what's your timeline for wanting to record your first solo song? Yeah, man. Well, it's funny you say live shows. So I, actually someone will be, I think next weekend I'm having a guitar and a slash drummer. We might be buying a drum set for the garage. Uh, one, I think I'm going to make the garage a DIY space for smaller bands, uh, open mics. And honestly, just for me to record and Brennan. Um, timeline for me to record. If I can do something by the end of, I know we're not in school or so, so summer is not a thing, but like by the end of summer, uh, just yeah. something, a single would be dope. Um, I, the thing is, like, I, I, I really like playing live, so it, it, it's, it's, it's in construction. Uh, we'll see. By the end of summer, something will be out. I don't know what awesome. that's going to look like, but, yeah. No, thanks for asking. Well, I hope you get opportunities for live stuff. and may, Maybe we can hit up somewhere if, if you come into Columbus in July or when I come out to Austin next. Dude, that would be dope. We could just uh, put up a set list and then bring the, bring the house down. Bring, a, bring an oh, open yeah. mic down or a coffee shop down. That would be sick. I'm excited, dude. I listened to the, your, the one song that you were working on a while ago. I, I listened to it all the time. And I think that, I think you got some good ones in the, in the holster that I think uh, should see the light of day soon. Like thinking about send regards, how like the mix is not dissimilar from the one I had when you came to visit in October, but it's been very small changes and stuff. But I finally just had to put the my foot on the gas. Cause I think I would have never released anything if I didn't just go, you know what? I need to find somebody to mix this and I'm going to do it. Cause I think perfectionism, especially, I think music is the hardest thing to put out because it's so personal and nothing ever sounds the way you want it to ever. Yeah. But hardest one to swallow. Well, we did, we both did it once before kind of, so we'll yeah. both find <laughs> Cool. Well, awesome, dude. dude. Love you, buddy. Glad we got to do this. Let's plan to do it at the end of this month uh, yeah. sometime. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. So. See you on the next one. Peace. Peace.